Hey guys, it's Kelly from the Love Elijah Project. Uh, this week our blog topic is Overcome. Um, it is a little late. It was supposed to be last week's topic, but uh, things have been kind of hectic and we are trying to actually move out of our art therapy studio where we are now. Um, and so Overcome is definitely an appropriate title. Um, I just We'll talk about it briefly, and then we're going to move on because I do have a lot of packing to do, and um, it's it's been really difficult, and it is just another obstacle to overcome, and it's not something that will stop the Level Elijah Project or myself from um, continuing to try to do great things in memory of my son. It is just another obstacle in the way. So. Basically what happened is we, my family has been homeless for a while, um, and we've been living in and out of hotels, and um, we did not intend on ever staying at the studio, um, but if, like, a month or so after opening the studio, and uh, nobody coming, and me really struggling to pay for both the studio and the um, hotel stays, we decided to put a pause on the studio until October, regroup, rethink, and in the meantime, uh, stay here. But we had every intention of actually opening the studio back up in October. But we um, we couldn't make it work, and we kind of got asked to leave because we aren't supposed to be living in a studio. Um, so now. We had to make the difficult decision to um, move back into hotels for now and figure out life as it comes. Um, but like I said, this is not an end to the Love Elijah project. It is just simply a brief pause on how we are going to um, run an art therapy program. Um, we are now talking with the founder of Camp Colon, and we are going to bring some of our uh, art supplies there, and we're going to do like a, a quiet space during that retreat for parents to use the art uh, art supplies, and we will uh, possibly hold some free workshops throughout the year around Orlando. So we'll make it happen. We just won't have our space, and it's a bummer. But like I said, it's just another obstacle to overcome. So you'll find that even though we have already been through the worst pain imaginable, we're not immune to other things happening. Um, and I read this all the time because you think, oh my gosh, I've already, you know, my child passed away. Why should anything else bad happen? But sometimes when it rains, it pours and uh, it just, you know, bad things aren't going to stop happening. It's what we choose to do when those bad things happen. So, yes, the first few days of me finding out that the studio had to close were, the, they were horrible. Like, I had to pack boxes, and I was crying, and I was shaking, and I was just devastated. I felt like I had failed not only myself, but all the people that had helped me, and then all the people I was trying to help. Um, and... And, uh, yeah, I felt a little bit there, um, and I will take full credit for the failure, but I, if I were to choose to stay in that failure, that would be the problem. That would be an even bigger failure. So what I'm trying to convince myself to do and hopefully inspire you to do is to not stay in those failures. So we talked about I get to versus I have to. It's not that I have to move on. I could very easily say, I'm done. This is it. No more blogging. No more project. No more helping people. Like, this is what I get for it. I'm done. Or I can say, I get to just rethink things and start over. So it's definitely about how you think and how you choose to move forward. Um, so... Yes, it's going to hurt today as we finish packing up the studio to take down all the pictures behind you, uh, behind me, sorry, that you see. Those are my kids, sorry. Um, and it 
is going to hurt to, to, you know, take the sticker off the door and walk out and lock it for the last time. Um, but the important part is, is that we learn from it and we move forward. And for me to look back and see how much I've already overcome is, I don't know what the word for it is because I don't want to say I'm proud of myself. Um, yes, I, it's not, I don't think it's a pride thing. I think that somehow I've been carried this far because I've been through a lot this past year. Um, and we haven't even made it a year to Elijah's angel anniversary. So it's, it's just, like I said about a week ago, I've been humbled so much that it hurts. Um, but again, it's what I choose to do with that, that humbling and that pain. And um, I choose to move forward. And there might be more bumps in the road. There might be more times where I fall or things happen and they're not going to be fair, just like it's not fair that Elijah had to go to heaven. Um... It's just something that I have no control over at this point, and I have to choose to move forward. Um, so hopefully, through all my ums and uh, <laughs> rambling on, I have inspired you today to choose to move forward, to choose to overcome, because you still have a life. You still get to wake up every morning and... Uh, it kind of goes back to that being thankful. It's hard to be thankful, but it's not impossible. And you have the most beautiful reason in the world to be thankful. You had a child. And whether or not you had all the time you wanted with that child, it was still a blessing. And you can choose to do something beautiful and fill that hole that you have in your heart with light instead of darkness. So, um... <laughs> that's all I have for you today. I have to get back to talk, packing boxes and moving, and it's a big job, so I probably should get started. Thank you so much for joining me today, and um, we will continue to vlog and to blog and to build the Love Elijah Project. Uh, it will just be a new adventure, so uh, thank you for your patience, thank you for your understanding, and see you next week. Thanks.